Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends, and we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy, because now it's time to rewind. All right, everybody, she is back again, <laughs> a fan favorite. A, a mainstay of Release Date Rewind. Welcome back, Solana Sorrento. Thank you. I'm glad Hello, to be Solana. back. Hello. This Hello. is now your third episode, but fourth movie you'll be talking about. Yes. Back in the day, I used to put two in one episode, but you know, too much work. Yeah. So Solana, how you been? I've been very well. How about you? How is How has your summer been so far? Summer, summer is flying by, but you know, it's funny, moving to Maine, I'm totally a summer person now. But when I was in yeah. Jersey and New York, oh my God, summer, you know, it's too muggy. Yeah. It's way too hot. Fall is where it's at. But Maine, you know, we only, we only have a few months of heat. <laughs> so oh, you guys even are in lucky. Southern Maine, you know, yeah. like we're, I'm right outside of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So we're not very far up at all. But yeah, I mean, you know, once it's June, it's because May is still a little chilly, you know? Yeah. So once it's June, it's like, oh, okay, it's hot. And some days, don't get me wrong, are way too brutally hot. But yeah, like we only really have warmth from like June to September. So yeah, wow. I, I'm still very much a fall person, but summer, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm loving, you know, how about you? Summer no. there is still pretty. Yeah. I mean, look at the hair. Look, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's humid. We're supposed to get a thunderstorm right now. Yeah. Like it, it's just so hot. I it, do yeah. love a summer thunderstorm though. I have to say, I love yeah. Yeah, well, we thunder. get tornadoes. Hopefully the power doesn't go out. You yeah, know. no, we get tornadoes now here. Yeah, you yeah. do now. I know my dad, who they're in Cinnamons, and he tells me every now and then, like, oh, yeah, uh, tornado watch. I'm like, what in the world? Yeah, I went and hid in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So let's rewind, Solana. Let's go. I know the last time you were on this show, we talked about a great 1992 film. And now we're going to talk about another great 1992 film, although it's far less popular, I have to say. Yeah. A League of Their Own made millions and millions. Stay tuned. Not as many millions, right? But right. I love it. This is a movie I definitely saw as a kid. I didn't see it in theaters, but I know we rented it or we, we you know, did pay-per-view on demand back right. in the day. We rented it at home. Love this movie. John Ritter, Pam Dauber, even Eugene Levy. Yes. I, I forgot he, Eugene Levy, Levy. I forgot he was in it. Really great cast. And it sounds like you love this movie too. Yes. I When yeah. I was younger, my mom took me to see it once and I went two more times. <gasps> I wow. loved so it that much. you saw it in the theater t three times. Yes. And I, I did the same thing with Hocus Pocus. Oh. And I did the same thing with um, Problem Child 2. Yes. So, like, I guess I liked John Ritter back then. Yeah. Because I watched, obviously, Three's Company so and, and Mork and Mindy. Oh, yeah. So yep. I knew who John Ritter and Pam Dauber were. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, I was reading that they didn't really advertise this a lot, but... Oh, okay. I remember seeing the commercial, and that's yeah. why I wanted to see it. Rewatching it, because this was the first time I rewatched it in a long time. It had been, oh my gosh, maybe 15 years or more. Right? Yeah. Um, but I remembered so many moments. I remembered so many costumes that they're in. Right. And, you know, I realized this time that I never really thought of before how genius to cast two famous TV stars in a movie where they get sucked into TV. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, yeah. it's, it's such perfect casting because I know, I have to pull it up. I know they were originally going to go with different people. They wanted Tracy Ullman and I think Richard Dreyfuss. Yeah. Did you see that? I, yeah. I did see that, yeah. I I don't know. It probably would have played out bigger, maybe, at maybe, the time. Maybe. I mean, Tracy Ullman's really funny. Richard Dreyfuss is fine. I don't dislike him, but I yeah. don't really find, Was, I never really found him to be like no, super exciting. No, I mean, I, I could put up with him in Jaws, <laughs> but like right. I couldn't get through What About Bob. Like I, he oh, just yep. got on my nerves. Yep. Um, but like I guess at the time they were big. Like, did Tracy Ullman have her show then? That's I guess a good question. She, she, she did. Might have. Tracy Ullman's show. Oh, yep. 
Okay, wow, yeah. I didn't realize that started in 1987. Wow. Okay. Okay, Cause so, I, yeah. Yeah, because I know The Simpsons came from that, and that was like in 89. Yeah. The Simpsons, so, yeah. So, all wow. right, so she's still, I could see why they would have wanted her. Yeah. She was big, she probably won Emmys that year, I'm sure. Yeah, you, so, that's a good point, at least nominated. Yeah, I mean, she's yeah. so, to this day, she's so funny. She was yeah. just in the last season of Curb Your Enthusiasm, and oh my God, she's so good. I like she is someone I don't ever want to die because yeah, I know. She's, she's just so funny, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let me set the scene before we get into why we love Stay Tuned so much and why more people need to see this movie. And I want to hear your thoughts later on. I think this movie would be a great remake. Yes. I think I think yeah. they could do some amazing things. We'll get into it. Yeah. But let me set the scene. So let's go back to August 14th, 1992. This movie was released wide. Fun fact, same day as... The other movie that I talked about this month on the podcast, Single White Female, came out the same oh, day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, iconic. Okay, so like we were talking about, This Used to Be My Playground by Madonna was number one on the music charts at this time in early August. Funny how it was like a month after A League of Their Own came out, but because it was still a popular movie, right. I guess the song finally made it to number one for a week mm -hmm. and then was overthrown by Boys to Men, the song oh, End wow. of the Road. Oh, yep. okay. Which was, which was number one for a long time, like weeks and weeks. So that's what was happening on the uh, music side. On the TV side, how funny. I need to hear your thoughts. So one show, The Larry Sanders Show, which was, I remember, a big deal, I believe, on HBO, that had just started, that was starting on August 15th, the same day as Are You Afraid of the Dark <gasps> premiered oh, on Nickelodeon. Okay. What an awesome weekend in our young lives. Yes. August 14th, 15th, to have yeah. Stay Tuned, Single White Female, and <laughs> Are You Afraid of the Dark. Yes. And that was, that was when Nickelodeon, I remember very well, that was when Nickelodeon was rebranding their Saturday Night Snick, yes, Snick. programming. Yes, yep. yes. And wait, what was the first episode? The tale of the, was it like the haunted cab or the, the something have, with the taxi? I have the whole series on bootleg DVD that I got on eBay years ago. Let me see. Are you afraid um, of the dark? That was the tale. You're so right, yeah. Solana. The tale of the <laughs> phantom cab. Yes, yes, yes. Two brothers, while lost in the woods, come across a mysterious cab driver and a very unusual man named Dr. Ving. I Vink, love yes, Dr. Dr. Ving. Vink who won't let any of his victims go unless they solve a riddle. Right. That's funny. You are so good. Yeah, I remember the yeah. second episode was the tale of laughing in the dark. It was the clown in a, like, yes. a in Zeebo, the fun the house. Clown. Yes. yes, in the fun house. Yes. Yes, I loved that show. Another episode I, did I see too. from season one, the tale of the super specs. Do you remember they would put on the Oh, the glasses. glasses. Yes. And creepy people. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, what a fantastic show. Oh, and the tale of Jake and the Leprechaun. The Leprechaun scared me. On the movie side, popular movies that were out, like I mentioned, sing Single White Female came out the same day. Unforgiven. Yeah. Death Becomes Her, oh, which is what I just talked yes. about on the show. Yeah. Oh my gosh, one of the best, right? Yeah. And how funny, a movie that I feel like everyone our age knows, but I can't really remember it, but Three Ninjas, that had just oh, come out. Oh, yeah. Do you I, remember Three Ninjas? Yeah, I feel like we would watch it in school. Like, you yeah. know, they'd bring the, the TV and put it in, yep. you know, like totally. it was a rainy day. And I think it even had some, like, direct-to-video sequels. So it had, like, a franchise. I can't remember at all what it was like other than just sort of like a Home Alone Right, ripoff, yeah. Right? But yeah. that was a big deal back then. So now, Solana, tell us, st Stay Tuned comes out. You loved it. I loved it. Yes. What's the movie about? It's about this um, guy who is like a couch potato. He's obsessed with TV, which yep. I could totally relate to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and um, his his wife, they're they're fighting, and his wife takes a trophy, breaks the TV, and oh then all God, of a sudden, yeah. this mysterious guy comes to the door, yeah. and um, he is selling. He's like a door to door salesman, and he's selling a um, new satellite dish for oh, for over 600 um, channels, 666 yep. channels. Yes, six, six, I caught six. that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the um, I can't think of his name right now. John Ritter's character, uh, oh, Roy. Nabel, mm -hmm. Roy, Roy. Yeah, uh -huh. um, he's like, oh no, you know, I don't want to sign it because I I can't pay for it. But then um, 
Spike, who we, yes, you know, mystery man and mystery yeah. man is like, uh, you know, free trial. So he's like, okay. He like, yeah, he says, yeah. did you say free? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, puts the satellite dish in the backyard and there's all these channels. And then, um, him and his wife, they fight about the TV and yeah. they're outside arguing and the satellite dish just sucks them in. Then they're in. TV shows. <laughs> and yeah, then the, it's a wild ride from everything from a game show to uh, their cartoons to, oh my God, the French Revolution, like yeah. the historic drama is so funny. And then a uh, music video. The and... salt and Peppa music video. Yeah. I remember that so well. I, I remember know. as a kid being like, oh, I want to be in that music video. I know. Right? I know. They're in some like, like factory. It's Back, very like yeah. Janet Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so fun. And then it's up to their kids to figure out what happened to them and you know get them back suck them right. back out right yeah yeah you know it's funny rewatching it i also realized that it's kind of almost a little bit like honey i shrunk the kids which had just yeah. come out a couple years prior you know yeah it's it in that same vein of like you know family members shrinking or disappearing and now other family members have to figure out a way to like make them normal again right, right? It, it's very of that kind of fun i love those kinds of movies though yeah so, they're so so easy to just like enjoy. Sorry to disturb you at this hour, but I have something you want. A new TV? It broadcast programs no one had ever seen. Wednesday at 9, don't miss an all new episode of The Silencer of the Lambs. And this movie is just so clever. All the spoofs, all the commercial spoofs yes. that they have. I oh know. My gosh. Like driving it. over Miss Daisy. Driving over Miss Daisy. Yeah. There's um, <coughs> Dwayne's world, which is like yeah. A, a no, Dwayne's under underworld. Yeah, Dwayne's underworld. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, in, instead of the Max Well um, sound system, it's Max Hell in yeah. that commercial where the head falls off. And then oh. there's even a Meta Three's Company moment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was funny, and they didn't even like change the title, like because yeah. th that was Hell. Yes. For John Ritter. Where have you been? Ah! Yeah, what happened? What was like the drama there? I forget. I think the drama was Suzanne Summers wanted more money. Okay, yeah. And yeah. And she was replaced. Yeah. Wasn't she? And yeah. I, yeah, because I think what she thought was John Ritter and uh what's her name? Joyce. Joyce oh, yeah. De Joyce DeWitt. Joyce DeWitt. Yeah. yeah. I think she thought they were gonna stand by her. And be like, if we don't all get raises, we're all walking. But they didn't. Yeah. Like, they were just like, you know, we're happy with what we have. Right. And, and then, so then they just fired her. Cause, wow. And I don't think she thought she would get fired. And then they, yeah. they just replaced her. And then that was that. And I don't know how much longer it lasted. I know it was like they had Chrissy's cousin. Uh, right. 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 I don't even remember her name. And then I I know that her and, and John Ritter didn't talk for years, but then they did wow. they did make up before he died. Not that did they year, not but talk like for years because of, of the fallout with the money? Yeah yeah, I think that's what it was. Wow. Yeah. That's but then sad. like later on they, they eventually made up. Um it might have been like remember they used to have like the T V Land Awards? It might have been through yep. that, like they saw oh, each other yeah. and um, and, but that. then he died, you know. She was, okay, yeah, she was not in season six. It ran for eight seasons, it looks like. Was she in season five? She was in season, so she was in it for five years. And yeah. And had three more seasons, it's, it looks like, without her. I was surprised. There's no real nod to Mork and Mindy, which I thought was I know. Maybe right? they didn't get the rights. Yeah, because that's, that's yeah. what I was wondering about. Like, I wonder if they had to really ask for a lot of permission. It's hard because they were spoofing many things yeah you know so i think when you're doing a satire you don't necessarily need to do the rights you know need yeah. to ask for permission but with some things with like the three's company theme song with with certain things i think they needed to get permission so yeah right. maybe you're right they couldn't get because how fun would it yeah. have been if robin williams like made a little i know or and and wait didn't uh connect, like this is weird connecting to what we talked about before um mm. with a league of their own but i think gary marshall wasn't he the director of Mork and Mindy? I might be wrong. Oh. Because I, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think he was because right. I think he did Happy Days, didn't he? Laverne and Shirley came off of Happy Days and so did Mork and Mindy. Oh, that's right. I forgot Mork yeah. and Mindy came off that. Wow, that's wild. 
1980, way back in 1980, he directed one episode of Mork and Mindy, yep. He directed an episode of Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley. So, yeah, total cross. Yeah, it was, like, all connection. connected. Yeah. So, I'll talk a little bit about the other main players and what they had done previously. So, the screenwriters were Tom S. Parker. No relation, yeah. I don't think. But if so, <laughs> hey, Tom. Yeah. Um, and Jim Geno Genoine. This was their first produced film screenplay. So... Very creative, uh, you know, I don't think they had really done much before. They had gone on to do a few other things, but this was pretty new for them. It was directed by Peter Hyams, who had directed a, a, definitely a, a good amount of movies, but I didn't really recognize a lot of them, so I don't really know his work that well. Um, but then other actors, it stars Jeffrey Jones as that creepy man, Spike. Yes. Sadly, Jeffrey Jones is a bit creepy yeah, himself. In, in real life. life. Yeah. Uh, yikes. Uh if you don't know, look him up. Yeah, Google. We don't need to talk about yeah. it. But... So he's in it as a perfectly cast creepy villain. And then, like we were saying, Eugene Levy had popped yes. up. Yes. Uh, you know, in this, and he's so funny. And I, here's my idea for a remake, re -quel, like a sequel kind of thing that I could think could work. All new family. You know, obviously, John yeah. Ritter passed away, sadly. I forgot he passed away on the set of Eight Simple Rules. Yes, yeah. yeah. I knew he was in that at the time, but I forgot he... Like, had his heart attack on set. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Yeah. But I would, I would, you know, get rid of Pam Dauber and the kids. The boy is so cute. The girl is a little annoying, Heather Yeah. McCallum. But my idea is get rid of them. Keep Eugene Levy. He's yes. still, to this day, stuck in different channels. Yes. Right? Because uh -huh. I forget how we leave off with him. I think he just still is in is trapped in the tv somewhere i don't think he died yeah no no right yeah. you know he has a leg missing and an arm yeah. missing <laughs> yeah but yeah. yeah so he can just be hobbling around and it could be perfectly done because obviously tv now is is king everyone right. i mean even more so than movies so now, and now you have all the streamers all right the apps all the content it would be gold to remake this now then one night roy and helen nabel got sucked in and discovered that hell is one TV show after another. Let's welcome our new contestants, Roy and Helen Nalo! And they're starring in every show. So get a new family, get, a, you know, new mom and dad, kids, um, some new neighbors, right? Yeah. Eugene Levy's the only one that is still there. And anyone who hasn't seen the original, whatever, they'll they'll get a kid. I mean, Eugene Levy is even more famous now with Schitt's Creek and yeah. American Pie. I mean, he's done amazing stuff, right? And so he can just sort of be like their kind of guide as they're sucked into TV worlds. But I think it could be so much fun to go from Game of Thrones yes. to Stranger Things yeah. to talk shows. That, that's the thing. They didn't really do any talk shows in the original, but it could be fun no. to do like a, yeah. like a Regis and Kelly or The View, yeah. you know, all these yeah. women shouting at each yeah. other. You know, what else could they do? They could do oh, um, any other like... Like Survivor. You yes. Know, like, like, or like, um, you know, any sort of like kind of game show. But like they have to put a twist to it. Like yes. with the, the, the shows here, like they had sadistic hidden video. So instead Absolutely. of playing a practical joke, they told somebody their husband died. Yes. So they have to do something like Game of Thrones. Like, I don't know. Like they yeah. get stepped on by a dragon or something right. like. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be dark because this yeah. movie is dark humor, which I think is why I have always loved it. Yeah. Because, yeah. Sadistic. What is it? Sadistic home videos. Videos. Yeah. Yeah. They're telling this poor older woman, your husband has died. And yeah. she's crying. And then, and then he says, okay, now look, look straight ahead. Do you see that camera? Yeah. Well, you're on sadistic home videos. <laughs> no. Yeah. <I> am? Like. <laughs> yeah. It's so, I mean, this movie deserved a bigger audience because, I mean, if this movie was streaming, it would be right. a hit. Yeah. If this was like a Netflix or Hulu movie, it would be such a hit. Oh, my God. Or they and could go, they could like um, be in Handmaid's Tale. Oh, my God, that'd be They scary. could be like in Housewives. Well, like the Housewives are zombies. They're, they're dead. Oh, yes, Walking they're dead. dead. Oh no, but God. like they're dead. Like uh, in in oh. like Dwayne's Underworld, they were yes, zombies. It's, yes, you're Dwayne's right. It's Mars, dead but... Housewives. But, like, yeah, but then hire, like, the real ones. Like, have Luann. Oh, like, my God. Could you imagine? Solana, you are a yes. genius. The dead housewives of yeah. New York or yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And just, like, mix them all up. Have, like, Luann. Have, like, um, oh my God. Sonya. Dead housewives are all fighting. Yeah. And they're all, like, turning their, their anger on the, on yeah. the couple. Because this movie, what's also part of the fun is there's, like, 
old stuff, like even old for, for, for the 90s, like right. those old black and white yes. movies that he likes watching. So there could even be fun old, like like uh, the Golden Girls. Oh my fun. God, yes. You know, yes. Like, a, like they go to a channel where it's all like old reruns, you know? Yeah. That would be really fun. There's yeah. so many great things you can do with it. You know, action, comedy, horror. There could even be like American Horror Story or something. Yeah, you know? but like they show it as a comedy because yeah. like... Yeah, it's got to be like you know? switched. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Or like The Adventures of Regan and Captain Howdy. And it's like <laughs> Dora Explorer, but it's Regan and Captain yes. Howdy. Like, yes. You know, oh like... God, that's genius. Wouldn't that be like... But it's like, you know, like what should we do today, Captain Howdy? Like, That's you know, so brilliant. Yeah, and then uh -huh. instead of asking the book bag, you ask the Ouija board, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, where, where to go like, or all of a sudden her head spinning and she's like, oh, it's okay. This happens every now yeah, and then. Yeah. Now they can't go home. <laughs> they can only switch channels. Where'd he go? Hey lady, watch out. And every series is a nightmare. <laughs> That's entertainment. Because Satan is the sponsor. Okay, everybody, head spins. Very good, very nice. Exercises. Oh, oh yeah, we yes, did see that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's yeah, that really was, funny. Yeah, that was funny. She spins her head around. I, I wish then, they showed that more. They I could know, have done a lot I, more with that, like levity yeah, that, and... Yeah, some things only kind of have like a brief moment, while yeah. others it's like a real set piece. On Wiki, they have a very helpful list of everything they parody, so I'll, I'll oh, read okay. to you. Yeah. Okay, so obviously, it, it's not an order of the movie, so Three's Company, duh. Okay, yeah. Wayne's World, duh, we talked about it. Silence of the Lambs. Oh, they right, yeah, yeah. commercial, yeah. which is so yeah. funny, Silencer of the Lambs, because the kids in the back seat are just nonstop annoying their parents. Right. So that's funny. Yeah. I thought this was so funny. Three men and Rosemary's baby. Rosemary's baby, baby yeah. <laughs> and it's like puking. That yeah. was brilliant. Um, they have the Dukes of Hazard. David Dukes of Hazard. I missed that one. I didn't see that one. Where did you Is watch it? Because I watched it on YouTube and it didn't show the ending credits. Oh, okay. So it could Me have been too, on the ending Solana. credits. Did you find it on YouTube where yes. it's in the different it's chapters? Like, yes. Yes. <laughs> And then I, know, I watched them fine. mixed up. I watched them mixed up. Oh, did you? Oh, no. Well, yeah, I was like, wait a minute. This is five. I never watched four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I learned halfway through, oh, if I just click on, like, the the video that was, like, all the chapters in one, you know how yeah. YouTube can do that, like a playlist? Then yeah. it was better. But uh, that's so funny. I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. it didn't show the, the like, first couple seconds of like the logo and you know like we see right. the great animated stay tuned uh video animation yeah. which is great and apparently they were working on that and the cartoon uh mouse scene yeah like, for six months in advance or something i heard they put a lot of effort into the animation oh my god we're cartoon i am not a mouse i'm helen nabel i have two beautiful children mom our parents are trapped in television so wait was it what was it david dukes of hazard yeah, David Dukes of Hazard, because David Dukes is a real person. Yeah, who... he's he was a cult yeah. leader, right? right? Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, driving over Miss Daisy, we talked about that. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> Northern overexposure. Exposure. Great, yeah. With the wolves, that was a great scene. Yeah. I loved what I loved as a kid, and I really remembered it rewatching. I loved how they had the static as like a portal, you know? Right. With, yeah. With Northern overexposure, they have to push the hut in the in the ice to that hole in the ground to yeah. go through it you know or it's in the wall like i or it's you know they fall into it in the in the wrestling ring you right know? i've watched enough wrestling to know one thing it's all fake no one ever gets it. not fake so the object, the object, Mr. Pierce, is to kill them before they reach the end. If it was a bigger hit, I could have totally seen this being like a ride, you know? Yeah. Going yeah. through static and right. so fun. Yeah. So what else? Uh, autopsies of the rich and famous. Oh yeah. They that. actually do that for real now on reels. Do they? Yeah. They do. Really? Well, they don't show you, but they tell yeah. you like, you know, they oh, did wow. like Luce, Lucille Ball and yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they God, do that wow. every Sunday night. They were like the writers were a bit psychic, like knowing what was going to be on TV in the right. future. Right. Yeah. And even the phrase Roy says to Spike towards the end, "You're canceled." And yeah. Turns, and like hits the button on the remote, and I was like, "Wow." Little did everyone 30 years ago know that you're canceled was going to yeah. be like a phrase used right. a lot. You know, a lot, to cancel yeah. People, right? Please, it's party time in Angeles. 
Wait, so so then you saw this movie three times in the theater. Did you see it? Who did, do you remember who you saw it with? My mom. <laughs> Every time? Every time. Oh my God. She took me the first funny. time and then she'd be like, do you, I'd be like, please, can I go see it again? So then that's when I think, you know what? I think I had one, my aunt stole it from Blockbuster. She would do that. Oh. Like I have a Vita like that. She would open an account and then oh rent goodness. it and never bring it back. That's how I so got a like, Vita. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Yeah. So it's it's still in like the Blockbuster case? Yeah, but like that's what my mom would do because she was like, I can't go to the movies again and say it, you know? Right. Yeah, but like back yeah. then, it wasn't that expensive to go to the movies. Totally. Oh my God, yeah. back then, are you kidding? I would go to the movies as much as I could. Oh my yeah. gosh. Why do you think you loved it so much? Just, uh, well, you, I think, you love TV and yes. so you saw yourself in, in Roy? In yeah. Them? No, I well yeah, I I love TV, but then I love you know how I love scary stuff. Oh, totally. So like it was like scary but funny, and I yeah. I love that too. Like I love like Mel Brooks like Young Frankenstein yeah. and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And I just love how they spoofed things that I knew. Yeah. So like I found it hysterical when other people would be like it's not funny. Like Right. You know, you know, and it's an it's an interesting kind of comedy because it could be, um, I think, scary for some kids. For kids like yeah. us, it was like, yeah, what? this is like our brain yeah. loves this stuff, you know. Yeah. But like, you know, with, with the neighbor, I forget her name, but her, her husband in the very beginning, Mary, yeah. you know, they yeah. get sucked in and Murray's like, like brainwashed. He loves being in here and he, he loves being away from his wife who's squashed by Godzilla. Godzilla, like I know. It gets so dark and that's how she dies. She dies yeah. in the TV, right? But I so, laughed. That's oh yeah, oh weird. Yeah, it's, it's, it's darkly <laughs> I funny. I You know, this time of of filmmaking this time of the decade i feel like with death becomes here with beetlejuice they we were making we were watching like really good twisted comedies yeah you know they yeah. weren't afraid to be really weird like she devil with Marilyn oh yeah right like that was some good. very and i think tim burton was yeah was very influential i, I was gonna that, say maybe, tim burton yeah yeah like he apparently was asked to do this but he was doing batman returns right yeah but I mean, this is so Tim Burton. Well, time to rock and roll. Star me up. You got star me up. Star me Don't up. miss this comedy from hell. I got a kick out of the music video. I don't oh, know yeah. why, like, cause John Ritter looks so goofy, like so goofy, and so does Spike Jeffrey yeah. Jones. I remember, like, he's like he has like makeup on. Right? Yeah, and yeah. he's like the DJ, and yeah. like I just thought it was just so funny. I don't know why, like, just yeah. it just struck me funny, and I would laugh. I think like, also, what makes that so funny is the remote. Like John Ritter just wants the remote so badly to to get to the to uh, when uh, not Wendy no Helen Helen's his wife's name yeah because she's tied up like with the train coming right right and the remote keeps falling into different people's hands yeah you know, and then they hit mute yes. and then the, the guy hits mute and I thought that was so funny yes. but I think it's just because I I watched TV I knew the oh, yeah. mute button like it yep. was just. He was in the TV, like he was totally. in the TV show. He was in yeah. the music video. I love yeah. that mute moment. I remember thinking that was so clever. And it's funny, since you like scary stuff, it kind of reminded me of, did you ever see Funny Games? Yes. Yes. Where yeah. there's a moment where they pick up it, the remote and yeah. they rewind, rewind the movie and you realize like, oh yeah, I'm just like watching a movie, but this yeah. is so intense. In there. Yeah. But it made me think of that. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, there's going to be a new movie that we'll talk about, so stay tuned. And please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram for updates. Bye.